Learning to use layers makes managing content in your documents faster and easier. Using this poster as a sample project, you'll create a new layer, add artwork to that layer, and then change some properties for the layer. You can open this file from the practice files if you want to follow along. Working with layers in the layers panel is useful in a lot of ways, including, for example, when you have different elements in an icon or a logo that you need to work on individually without affecting the other elements. For this poster, you'll create a background shape and then create a layer to more easily select the content later. To access the layers in the document, you'll open the layers panel. So choose Window, Layers. Every new document in Illustrator starts with one layer you see here, named Layer 1. Changing layer names, including the default layer, can make it easier to keep track of which content is on each layer, especially in documents that have multiple layers. So double-click the layer name, Layer 1, and change the name to Content, then press Enter or Return to accept the name. You can name your layers anything that makes sense to you. Now you'll create a new layer where you'll add a background color to the poster, which in this case will make the text more readable. Putting the background color on its own layer is also helpful because it allows you to hide, select, and edit the background more easily. To make a new layer, at the very bottom of the Layers panel on the right, click the Create New Layer button. The new layer is added to the Layers panel and named something generic like Layer 2. Also notice that this new layer is above the Content layer in the Layers panel. Double-click the new layer name and change the name to Background, then press Enter Return. With the layer selected, and you can tell it's selected because it has this highlight, you'll add content to it now. Selecting a layer in the Layers panel tells Illustrator to place new content you add onto that layer. To add a new shape to the new layer, select the Rectangle tool in the Tools panel on the left. In the document, starting in the upper left corner of the artboard, Click and drag to the lower right corner of the artboard to create a rectangle that covers the entire artboard. To change the color fill of the selected shape, you'll open the Properties panel. So choose Window, Properties, or you can click the Properties panel tab if you see it. Click the Fill color, make sure the Swatches option is selected, and then select a color like this purple to fill the shape. With the shape still selected, click the Layers panel tab up here to show it. You can see that the new shape is on the layer named Background, and this little red box to the right means the selected content is on this layer. The shape needs to be behind the other poster content. To do that, you can reorder the layers in the Layers panel. Drag the layer named Background down. When you see a line appear below the Content layer, release to reorder the layers, and ultimately the layer content in the document. To deselect the background shape, choose Select, Deselect. Now to lock the layer so that you can't select anything on that layer, over in the Layers panel, click the blank area to the right of the eye icon in the background layer. Locking this layer may help you to focus on editing the artwork on the content layer, for instance, without accidentally moving the background shape. Notice this pencil icon. That icon is telling you, you can't create a rectangle right now. But if you click to select the content layer, then you could create a rectangle, because you're creating with a selected layer that's not locked. Being able to add and rename layers helps you organize and manage your content in Illustrator. As you get more comfortable with layers, you'll find that adding and renaming them is especially useful for complex projects that use multiple objects and elements.